going on today. In fact, uh, St. Charles and Ascension Episcopal played down in Laplace, and St. Charles down 17-7. They came back and won that contest. So St. Charles advances in the Division Three Select playoffs. Now, in Crowley, in that same division, a wild ball game for Notre Dame as they hosted Lake Charles College Prep, a great high school game here. Uh, Trip Mixon with the tackle for loss there, but you can't keep a good team down. LCCP with a touchdown pass to go up seven to nothing. Actually, check that. It was six nothing. That Miss PAT would come back to haunt them later. They would go up to 13 nothing after that touchdown. And then in the second quarter, Notre Dame ball. Aiden Mutoff on, finds Teddy Menard. For the on the wheel route, Teddy reaches the end zone. It's 13-7. It's 20 to 7 at the break. The Pios get the ball to start the second half. Mouton hands to Jake Briette, and he goes into the end zone. 20 to 14, LCCP up. Pios go to Briette again. This time, it's into the end zone again. A 12-yard run for a score there, and that made it 20 to 20. The PAT was no good, so we go into overtime. And it's LCCP scoring six in OT. The Pios score seven and win a thriller, 41-40. They will host Episcopal, who beat uh, Loyola Prep 10-7 to tonight. Episcopal won that game. There was a little confusion on that score. On to Division Four Select, where three Acadiana teams battling on the gridiron. Undefeated Vermilion Catholic took on Cedar Creek. Also battling, Sacred Heart, they went to take on Wachita Christian. Finally, Opelousas Catholic. They competed against Central Catholic. Now, News 10 Sports' Jonathan Bulot was in Abbeville as the number one seeded Vermilion Catholic looked to make a run at the crown. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Ski. It was a cold night of playoff football in Abbeville, but Vermilion Catholic's offense was hot. VC looking to keep their undefeated season alive against Cedar Creek. The Eagles dialing up a big play before half. Jonathan Dartez, he's going to throw a dot to his tight end, Ashton Belair, for a touchdown and a great ball, a great catch by VC. Just to put them up 14-0 going into the half. Let's go to the second half now. Cedar Creek looking to punt the ball away. Snapped over the punter's head, and he'll be forced out of bounds. That would put Vermilion Catholic in great position for this 36-yard field goal. The Eagles take home the win, 31-7 the final. Number three, Washtenaw Christian taking on Sacred Heart. Hey, this game was great all around. Landon Grace, he's going to hand off to Zach White for the first touchdown of the night. OCS would get on the board first, 7-0. Sacred Heart, they're taking a turn for the worse on offense when the Eagles stealing the show. Sacred Heart loses the ball. OCS recovers the fumble, and they're going to get back on the field and do exactly the same thing. White, he's going to stiff arm a defender, turn on the Jets, and he's going to find the end zone. Sacred Heart goes down 49-0, and OCS will advance to the quarterfinal round next week. Circling back, Jonathan Dartes, he looked poised tonight, and he took advantage of every opportunity that the Cedar Creek defense gave him. BC will now be looking to carry that momentum over into the quarterfinals next week against Southern Lab. Guys? All right, Jonathan, thanks so much. I smell a Faust Phenom, maybe, possibly, nominee right there. Opelousas Catholic took on Central Catholic tonight. What a high school game this was. Opelousas Catholic 52 12 over Central Catholic. Division 4 non select. Four Acadiana teams vying for the championship trophy. One of the matchups, Welsh and Oak Grove. Oberlin and Basile also competed on that gridiron tonight, George. They did. Basile at Oberlin, They're heading up to Basile, where the Bearcats took on Oberlin. I think I said that three times, or we did. Ski, you ready? Oh. So who's playing? It's Basile hosting Oberlin. To the second yes. quarter, Bearcats. Ashton DeVille takes the run just short of the end zone, able to secure the touchdown on the next play. The Tigers not going down without a fight. Colby McMahon passes the ball to Derek DeVille. It would not be enough, no che though. Check the score as we light it up for you. It looks like Basile takes care of business. 19 to 6, your final. In that one, Basile, a good little ball club there. Who definitely that um, of the games that we talked about, 
Notre Dame, that was that was that uh, a, that was a, a barn burner. Barn back and forth. LCCP reminds me a lot of LCA. They have a lot of athletes. They can throw it around the yard. Uh, but Notre Dame, just uh, one point better. We're able to score uh, a touchdown and kick the extra point. Uh, LCCP went for two in that, uh, when they scored their touchdown, and uh, they did not get it. So, uh, yeah, big game there and a lot of high highlights tonight on First and Ten for sure. More highlights to come after this. You're watching First and Ten.